The new Super Dam three times larger than the Three Gorges Dam. China new nightmare? Why is China building this dam? The new Mega Dam project could produce as much as three times the hydroelectric power of China's current largest dam. The Three Gorges Dam, a project which forced the relocation of more than 1.4 million people. China is planning to build that new super hydroelectric, three times larger than the Three Gorges Dam for several reasons. On hydropower generation, the dam is part of China's efforts to reduce its dependence on fossil fuels and generate more renewable energy. The hydroelectric power plant would be a significant source of clean energy. It may produce up to 65,000 megawatts at maximum capacity. 2. Flood Control Similar to the Three Gorges Dam, the new dam is expected to help control floods. The Three Gorges Dam was designed to shield millions of people from fatal floods. However, its efficacy has been questioned, especially after the Yangtze Basin saw its heaviest average rainfall in nearly 60 years. 3. National Pride and Technological Prowess Large-scale infrastructure projects like this are often seen as symbols of national pride and technological prowess, or carbon neutrality goal. China has set a goal to achieve carbon neutrality by 2060. Building hydropower projects is part of their strategy to achieve this goal. However, these projects have also drawn criticism due to their environmental impact and the displacement of local populations. It's a complex issue with many factors to consider. China has set out its ambition to build a hydroelectric dam on the Yalugarbo River in Tibet with a capacity of 70,000 megawatt. is three times more than the Three Gorges Dam. But there is an obstacle that can stall the plan. What is the danger that makes China hesitate to build? A super hydroelectric dam with a third class capacity? The Three Gorges Dam invites you to follow up soon. Recently, the Hindu newspaper and some other news agencies said that China is building a super dam in Tibet just 30 km from the Indian border. The new super dam could have potential geopolitical impacts on India. According to the media, new dam built near the line of actual control lack in Tibet near the lower reaches of India's Ram Pucha River, which China calls Yalu Tangbo Brapwa. One of the longest rivers in the world originates from Tibet and ends in the Bengal River. Yalu Garbo is the upper part of the Bram Pucha River, where China's ambitious project is built with the goal of achieving carbon neutrality by 2060. China has stepped up efforts on hydropower projects in Xitang, boasting a planned capacity of 60 gigawatt. The new dam will surpass China's Three Gorges Dam in both size and capacity. It is recognized as the largest hydroelectric project in the world because the location of the giant project is said to be only 30 km from the Indian border and is a major cause of geopolitical concern in India. After leaving the natural zone, Tibet, the Yalugarbha joins the Rampua River, which flows through the Indian and Bangladeshi states of Aruna Pradesh. The river is important to the communities along its banks, whose people rely on the river's water and the fertile soil, open for irrigation, agriculture, and fishing. Such a giant dam could block the flow of fertile sandy soil brought by the river, negatively affecting the farming areas in downstream water resources. However, in 2018, a landslide caused by a melting glacier led part of the water from the river into the Seon Pu Basin, creating a natural reservoir from the planned location of a super hydroelectric plant. With many lakes hanging so high above, China has no way of safely building a mega dam. Several groups of Chinese scientists and engineers have flown to Sepu in recent years, including some of the leading experts in civil engineering. Experts who study glaciers and prevent overcharging collect large amounts of data using remotely piloted aircraft and other advanced equipment, and Chinese authorities have asked for a solution. After the experts finished their assessment, they did not find a way to remove the layers of soil and rock that obstructed the river's flow. They also realized that similar incidents could repeat many times in the future due to changes. Climate expert Dean Pao of the Tibet Policy Research Institute based in India at that time noted that the area where China was building dams was prone to earthquakes. Dean Pao warned that dam construction could cause geological tremors because dam failures and devastate downstream areas. Landslides in western China have caused great concern about project being built because of the incident could cause negative impacts on the environment which in turn would affect the socio-economic lives of the people. While the South China Morning Post warned that the 600 million cubic meter lake is just a short distance from the location where China built the lake. A dam of several tens of kilometers can become a danger hanging over the head of any worker working at a super project on the river. In Shanghai, China and many colleagues came to survey the dam location and found that the situation is very difficult. 
and there is still no immediate solution. Some Chinese scientists have proposed instead of building a super dam. Let's dig a 16 km long tunnel through one of the high mountains in the valley. Water will be directed into the tunnel to turn the turbines to generate electricity. This project is expected to reduce the electricity generation capacity by 50%. That is only about twice the capacity of the Three Gorges Dam, but helps reduce the risk of damage due to landslides or other natural disasters. Despite the environmental and social consequences, there are still no signs that China will stop pursuing its ambition to build super hydroelectric dams. One of the achievements mentioned is the successful construction of Bayatan Hydroelectric Dam, a dam with a height of 289 m located on the Jinsha River, a tributary of China. The Yangtze River at the southeastern edge of the Tibetan Plateau is the second largest hydroelectric project in the world, after the Three Gorges Dam, also of China. China has always been proud to be the largest importer and exporter in the world, and is now the country that owns the world's largest dams. This dam attracts attention not only because of its huge size, but also because of the speed of project implementation, making many people surprised despite many technical difficulties. Due to the remote and rugged terrain, it only took China four years to complete the Baihetan Dam, with a total cost of 170 billion yuan equivalent to 26.1 billion US dollars. The above projects show China's ambition to become a leading country in the world of hydropower in parallel with the ambition to increase military and economic power according to gender. Analyzing China's construction of the above large hydroelectric dams is not only for the purpose of helping the country ensure water security, as what Beijing claims is that they are also considered a trap core that China can use to pressure countries in the downstream region. For example, by building 11 giant dams on the Mekong River, before the river flowed into Southeast Asia, China cut off the river's natural flow, leading to a sudden drop in water levels for downstream countries. Geostrategic researcher Brahma Chalan of the New Delhi Policy Research Center at that time said that Beijing may not have realized the consequences of its strategy. According to him, the cost will be much greater than the conflict's intentions between Beijing with neglected countries. Over the past two decades, China has carried out a major revolution to reduce dependence on non-renewable energy sources. Beijing is increasingly interested in hydropower as an accessible energy source due to diverse terrain to create a stable electricity supply. But this country's construction of dams has seriously affected the environment of major river systems in Asia, including two vital rivers. China's veins are the Yellow River and Yangtze. Giant steps are destroying the ecosystem, causing many species of freshwater plants and animals to face the risk of extinction. Shrinking the area of the plains and reducing fertility of riverside land emits even more CO2 than fossil fuel hydroelectric power plants. More than 350 households in China have disappeared in recent decades, and the number of naturally flowing rivers now exists. Nowadays, there is very little fragmentation, and reduction in water flow in rivers has become a common phenomenon. The social consequences are equally serious due to poor quality of dams. There are about 3,200 dams in China. As of 1981, the 1975 Pell Dam failure alone had killed 230,000 people. In recent times, China has improved its construction capacity, making dams more solid and resilient. But there are still many problems. Many dams built in the early stages are in the process of being degraded, always posing risks during bad weather, not to mention the dam construction projects that forced a large number of people to relocate in 2007 when planned. China's construction of large dams is on a strong development path. The country has had to relocate 22.9 million people to other areas to make room for hydroelectric projects, such as the Three Gorges Dam construction project, caused 1.84 million people to evacuate when China shifted its focus from rivers in the central region to rivers in inhabited areas, ethnic minority communities that had suffered economic losses. The country's economy and culture will be most seriously affected. Despite the environmental and social consequences, there is still no sign that China will stop pursuing its hydropower ambitions. Plans to build a large dam in Tibet capable of generating three times as much electricity as the Three Gorges Dam on the Yalu River. The Indian government has come up with the idea of building another dam on the Bram Bucha River to strengthen water resistance and neutralize the influence of the project that Beijing is pursuing. That's all for today's video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. If you like this video, please subscribe, share it with your friends and give it a like. Bye and have a nice day.